Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you guys how to um, scrape your artwork uh, using a program called Scrapper. I really, really like using it. It's quick and easy and um, the output is really nice. Uh, first things first, you need to go to screenscraper.fr and sign up for an account. Uh, by default, you get one slot that will integrate with this program, Scrapper. If you donate to their Patreon, you'll be able to get an additional five slots so you'll have a total of six slots and um, it's well worth it especially for the speed increase all right I already have an account um, but I'll go ahead and go to the um, scrapper.net website and download the newest version for Windows it's available for OS X and for Linux but this tutorial is for Windows only right now Once it's downloaded, you want to extract it. Um, you want to extract it to a place that has a lot of space because um, it takes, it caches all the all the uh, artwork, so you can recreate your game list and stuff when you update your ROM lists. So I'm just going to put it on my D. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is you're going to make sure that your Odroid or RetroPie device is plugged into your network and connected and you can see it in Windows. And then you're going to bring up uh, Windows Explorer. And then you're going to click on Computer, Map Network Drive. And I'm just going to use my Z Drive. And I've already done it before, but um, you can browse your, through your network or you can just type backslash backslash on an Odroid. It's just Odroid. And then ROMs. And I mapped that to the Z. And you'll see there's all your ROMs. And then I'm going to map another one to my configs directory. And that'll just be Y. And then I can just backslash, backslash, Odroid, backslash, configs. Some of you might have to use your IP address. Okay, and there's my configs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to run uh, Scrapper. Since you already have an account on Screen Scraper, you're just going to put in that login information. And as you can see, mine says uh, six scrape engines enabled. Um, a normal account will just say one. And you click next. It takes a little bit of time to load the resources. Because it has to download them. So it can take anywhere from uh, a minute to five minutes. Okay, after all the resources are downloaded, you're going to want to select um, what front end you're going to be using. Um, I use RetroPie, of course. And if you're using an XU4, you're going to be selecting RetroPie. If you do use Recallbox, you can select Recallbox. Um, launch boxes for the PC. And generic emulation would be stuff like probably like Hyperspin and stuff like that on a PC. Okay, so select your front-end home folder. So it says that it wants you to go to the configs directory on your Samba share. Well, you don't have to do that because we mapped it. So you just go to this PC and then configs. And then next you go to where your ROM folders are. And since we want to do it over the network because it's fast enough, you get a Z and select that. And as you can see, it's scanning all the systems that it found on my drive there. It found 46, which is, I think, pretty much spot on. All right. This is the uh, media selected for RetroPie. Um, it has the videos. It's going to put them in a specific folder called media so inside the media you're going to see images videos and marquee everything's going to be nice and bundled up it's going to create a new game list have all the descriptions it's it's awesome 
So just click next and you're ready to go. Um, we can start with a nice quick small system. Let's just do like Atari 5200. I'll select that. If you want to customize it, you can go into uh, game list options and you can spe specify different um, settings, but I just choose the default because everything comes out perfect, at least in my opinion. So as you notice, it's going to Z colon backslash Atari 5200 for its ROMs. These are the file extensions. This is important. If you're not getting any artwork, make sure the file extension that you have on your ROMs folders matches one of these here. You can separate them with a comma. Um, I usually only use one um, extension for CD games, like for instance, like Sega CD games, a lot of them are Ben and Q. By default, it has Ben and Q as the file extension, so you would get double listings. I just get rid of the actual Q and just leave it for the Ben or vice versa. Um, it also supports a whole bunch of other systems um, that it doesn't scan. So if you need to add a system, you can just press this plus here and you can select any of these systems. All right, let's go ahead and do Atari 5200. We'll press play. And since I have six slots, it's doing six games at a time. And it's already scraped 12 games. Uh, so the whole process will take about 7 minutes. And um, you'll have perfectly done game lists and artwork for whatever system you choose.